everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Emma and Georgia, and today we are watching Ginny and Georgia Season 1, Episode 7. If you want to watch our uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon is down below. Last episode, there was a lot of family drama. We found out that Georgia's sister Maddie had actually been working for the private investigator that was hired to watch Georgia, and she'd been offered $5,000 in order to get information on her. Yeah. And they were just growing closer <laughs> as well, so Georgia felt really betrayed, and then she gave her more money and told her to just leave. It's such a shame. Like, like she was a bit sus coming into town yeah like at that sudden point but oh like her kid and austin were getting on so well and like they they were just sort of getting on with each other but it was not meant to be she had alternative motives at the end Ginny found george's box of stuff under the floorboard and she found yeah. her gun and they both like pulled the gun up on each other oh god that was all that was so bad that whole scene that was so bad because i don't blame Ginny for wanting to know about her own mother like she's she's such a mystery everything about her mysterious and yeah that's your own mom and you know if some family comes into town you didn't even know it was your family like yeah you want to know more it's just basic instinct but when george slapped her that was bad that was but i feel like it's, oh. it's one of those situations where i can see both sides because obviously Ginny wants to know about her mother's past but georgia doesn't want her to know because she thinks it would change her perception of her and it really would because already just from knowing that her name used to be mary she's already pissed off enough and so like knowing about everything she had to go through with like giving birth to Ginny and her grandparents yeah. wanted to have custody of her so georgia ran away and stuff i feel like Ginny wouldn't take any of it well at all my mom always goes to her for birthdays no. laugh on party parties you gotta make your own. Cool, fair point. <laughs> you older me. But I love your natural hair. Oh, you wear it. She looks like a bitch already. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. 7 a.m. I don't really want cake. Happy birthday, dear Ginny. Must you sing the whole song? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. The evils. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ginny. Oh, thanks, Austin. Oh, she's happy about that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you'll start treating me like a grown-up. Trust me with important factors of your life, like, I don't know, off the cuff, the fact that you have a sister and your real name is Mary. Oh, bringing this out Maybe straight Maybe acting like a grown-up. Happy <gasps> 16, jerk! <laughs> <laughs> oh! She knows how to play. Yeah. You think this is good? Wait till you see what I got planned for tomorrow. Oh God, what does that mean? Means tomorrow I plan a secret surprise. For Ginny. Yeah, do it for Ginny. <laughs> that didn't take long. Surprise! Happy birthday! Oh, they wow, decorated they their corner. <laughs> I'm supposed to tell you all to look in that general direction. Oh God, what's Hunter got planned? Oh no, I can't take this. Oh no. I could never be with someone like him. It's so embarrassing. In the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, this is quite embarrassing. How does she hate her mom and not this? <laughs> her mom just gave her a cake. I guess it's impressive, but she's insanely cringy. Marcus's face. <laughs> 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 what I would prefer that. Me too. How do you plan on making Wellsbury more senior friendly? Boomers and millennials alike want boomers. affordable amenities. They want convenient boomers. transportation. Can't believe and that. both 
will be at the forefront of my Wellsbury so, like, improvement plan. Judgy as well. And 50% of my budget will go to the education system. The rest will be directed towards enterprise funds like Green Gardens that bring more money <laughs> back into our town and to community preservation. Yeah, if you don't like that one more. Go, Mayor. I'm gonna have sex with Sophie. Oh my god, really? At That's your party? <laughs> you guys like just started dating. Sophie's a senior. She's already had sex with two different people. It sounds like she's just doing it to sort of make her happy. Yeah. He's so hot and he cares about me, so yeah, I want to. Yeah, but he's oh not my on god. purpose. Oh my god, losing her virginities on the same night. Are we a movie? <laughs> okay. She already lost I it with your so brother. Lot, but doing it the same night is like such a best friend bonding thing. We'll have this when we're old and best friend and bonding. Yeah, anymore. we'll say that. So cute. Oh, FOMO. Oh, oh, Ginny's the only one that isn't Look pissed it is. about it. Avoid eye contact, or she'll think we want her to sit with us. Uh, oh my god, that's like awesome. so embarrassing. Oh, god, okay, whoa, thank she's... God that was fake. I was like, I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, I sprang too soon there. We go on vacation in books. Well, that is a oh. very fun sister you have. She's the best. She said that oh. was very weird. Said that to a mayor of the town. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's funny. Yes. Oh, he would be perfect for the family. I know. I like oh, him. Oh, Georgia just needs to just to settle in with him. He's perfect. But there's also <laughs> Joe. I get angry too sometimes. Like, but then I remember that I can't control how other people act. Do you think it'd feel better if you apologized? Yeah. Maybe. Be the bigger boy, Austin. Out the other night. The other night? It was nothing. It was, it was just a drunken nothing. But we're good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're good. Oh, he's just so nice. He'll just let it off. I asked Georgia to make it a sleepover because your dad and I are in Maine this weekend. And that way we'll just be in the house all alone. <laughs> They're all going to lose their virginities in their oh. her house with Marcus upstairs. I need you to do for me what you did in New Orleans. What did he do in New Orleans? Come on, Marty, please. I promise I will make it worth your while once this money comes through. I'm glad this PI stuff is coming up more because I feel like that got dropped for a bit. What? Why do they all know how to play? I painted it. Whoa! You painted my God! You paint? Because you don't know everything about me after all. What the hell? That's such a personal nice gift. That's really cool. Oh, and yet you chose the. Oh, They're I'm both sorry, smelling cause... each other. Oh, oh and they went almost there. Yeah, I know. We're just friends, right? Yeah, friends. He loves that. He loves your yeah, friends. <laughs> Please, that guy is such a tool. He's a ponytail instead of a personality. Hey, Hunter has a personality. Come on, does that guy even know you? Of course he does. He's my boyfriend. We're gonna have sex. What? Oh! <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, oh, now look what you've done. Oh! <laughs> he spent the night, huh? I she did get surprised. <laughs> and the mayor was naked in my bathroom. French toast? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. What is that wig? Okay, over here we have our beauty he looks so corner. Pistol. Over here we have our karaoke dress up corner. That looks kind of nice. I know. Why can't Jenny just like smile once in a while? At my favorite salon, and they're here to give you pedicures. They've got professionals. <laughs> cool. And Jenny has a face like a slapped ass, like. <laughs> Ginny, what the fuck? What is wrong with Ginny? Yeah, your mom put in like a lot of effort for us. It's sweet. Are you going soft on us, Abigail? No, no, no. Yeah, like, that's nice I for mommy. to go and get wasted. Like two in this house. Right? Ginny. Who does she think she is? Don't Kill Bill? share this Maybe info. She be Kill Bill. She's trying so hard to be cool and show off for you guys, but she doesn't care what I want. Lock it up. Okay. Oh, yeah, they all do it. 
And they've got empty bottles, haven't they? They're yeah. gonna fill them up. <laughs> He's a private. Fair warning, but that outfit is amazing. Simply had to stop by and make it a little complicated. Thanks, Gabriel. It's uh, it's Jesse. Jesse. George is conniving. She'll find a way out of this and grass him up. That was her way of letting him know that she knows. What is that? Dude, what? Oh, <laughs> it's got googly eyes. <laughs> Can't believe I was in the house with a gun. Yeah, that's messed up. Doesn't you have a kid? Yeah. That? I, I'm not Taiwanese to Asian folks. No. Then I'm white. Yeah, I love it when they piece it all together and get really gross and excited. Yeah. Like, what are you? I feel like that's the only thing they have in common. You're beautiful. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, it's not. It looks so weird coming from him. Oh no! I don't know how people can feel so comfortable, like having sex at a party when anyone can walk in. I know. That's like I'm on the real <laughs> Good to know. That's your birthday. It should be all about you. Damn. <laughs> Does she have googly eyed underwear as well? <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's, just it's a her, mark. her burnt. Sorry, I'm I'm all gross and not waxed. You're so beautiful. <laughs> so <they're> good. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I hate that we're looking her in the face while I this know. is going on. I was expecting someone to walk in. I wish I did. <laughs> I think Max is a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. You can just chill. Are you sure? Yeah. Did you make a sex playlist? <laughs> yeah. She planned everything. <laughs> you know she did. Those did they think she would fall for that? Shit. So many emojis, girls, you expression. <laughs> there is a loud party on my street. Oh my god. 45. Love this. This is so oh savage. This is savage right now. Straight I love it. Bag. Hunter went down on me. Aww. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Hunter, you're so kind. She's about to say, oh, I don't feel I can do it with you. Tricks with your tongue. Oh. 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 How late can you run? I know you're mad, but we can't just leave her. I'm wiped. I'm going to bed. <laughs> He's seeing the real side, Georgia. Ginny will be placed in foster care. Please help me. I can't lose my daughter. I'm getting married. He owns property, a hotel. You didn't Who's mention that? that. That might expedite things. You're a good kid. I'm drunk and in jail. Look, I love your mom, but I know this isn't always easy on you. I've been there. I get it. He is so lucky to have you. He's Aww. such a lovely guy. You think you need to know everything? Well, here it is, darling. I was abused by my stepdad my whole childhood. Oh. He molested oh me God. most nights with my mom asleep in the next room. And I've been homeless. I've been in jail. She asked for it, in fairness. You were abused. Surprise. Sorry I snuck out. Mm. Sorry about the thing you said. I would have been way stronger if I didn't have to spend so much energy dealing with that shit. I'd be the freaking president. Are you okay now? No, because my daughter hates me! <laughs> and I will prove to you how mature I am as soon as my head stops pounding out the there song we go. that scary dancing baby that gave me nightmares as a kid. She's been honest and she'll be more mature. That's all I wanted. Hunter went down on me. <laughs> okay. She was just about to buy into that. I'm doing this. 
Oh, do you not want to? She was just protecting us. Exactly. Protecting herself. Tell that little shit he can't push you around. Yeah? <laughs> Paul told him to apologize. Uh, I know, they've gone with two different yeah. methods of uh, raising children. Zach, oh. I'm sorry. Oh. oh. oh gross. <laughs> Austin, oh no! He was nervous! I miss my dad. I wish he was here. Or is that him coming? Looks like it. Well, I'm glad that Georgia has finally told her and she told her about their money issues as well. So everything's out in the open. She what, She's an adult now. She has to know all these things, you know. She thinks she can handle it. I hope she starts treating her better now that she knows the truth because my god couldn't stand Ginny for most of this episode. <laughs> Honestly, she's such hard work. <laughs> like, just watching her, like, I had my head in my hands multiple times, like, <laughs> she's such a bitch. <laughs> yeah, and there I was. She's so quite... unlikable. The time she was really nice was when Abby was at the dinner table and she like pretended to be a bitch. That was quite sweet. And then the rest of it, she was just so horrible to Georgia. Like that, the effort she put into that party was so nice and it looked so she good. She just looked, she was just sour the whole time. And oh, she's just so unlikable. Like I've never known a protagonist like it. I get that she's young, but she's not anymore. She's 16 now. I think you can grow up a bit now. She's so just problematic. Like even her friends are nicer than she is. <laughs> just frustrating because you just want to like sit her down and just say, just stop the act. <laughs> Just yeah. appreciate what you have, okay? <laughs> you don't understand yet. <laughs> to be fair to her though, she didn't hook up with Marcus or kiss him. That's like the first time she's properly rejected yeah. him because <laughs> she has a boyfriend. Know, yeah, but I think she did that to make him jealous. I think she was like, yeah, me and, me and Hunter could have sex tonight, yeah, in your house. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't know that at the time. But she she just wanted to get under his skin, I think. I think it's all games. I think she does like him. I guess she kind of wants him to admit his feelings per first, but he's a bit of a commitment phobe. I thought the whole painting thing he did for her was sort of an admission of like there. You know, he didn't have to say it in words, he showed it. I think that's his way of showing affection. It's sort of like, I'll show you what I can do for you, like, sort of thing. You, you know what I mean? Like, they would rather prove how much they like you instead of telling you. And I don't like her and Hunter. Hunter is super cringe. The tap dancing was a L. And well done for... Oh. It's like sucking. the writers purposely... Sucking, sucking. It's like they purposely wrote him as just a big cringe bucket with only cringy dialogue so that no one will root yeah. for him. It's just a walking cringe fest. Like, I love a nice guy and normally I'm torn. Like, Marcus is kind of the rogue, bad boy, but also not really a bad boy. He's got layers. And then there's a really yeah. good guy. But because Hunter is just really cringe and it all comes across as really fake i just don't like him at all because it just it feels too forced weirdly jenny laps it up she's like oh my boyfriend's so cool people are different I, it's, it's nice of him to do these grand gestures but maybe we're just people that don't really like grand gestures other people might laugh it up and love it but I just feel too yeah, embarrassed, guess... like, oh my god, in public. You gotta let us know in the comments, if this happened to you in this situation, you were Ginny, would you like this? Would you like Hunter tap dancing for the whole <laughs> school and being super cringe? Because it can't be just us that thinks it's cringe. I don't think Hunter is endgame material anyway. I think this romance will come to an end pretty soon. <laughs> I thought when Ginny was doing that whole thing where she was drunk standing on the table getting recorded, I thought she was going to let him down. <laughs> I thought she I was thought... going to accidentally say I love Marcus or something like that. Yeah, like something like that. I thought she was going to say, well, Hunter, I'm sorry, but you're just not as good as Marcus. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> A private investigator. He's now got dirt, kind of, because Kenny had tests done on him and 
it showed that he had no heart problems, but then he had a heart attack like a couple weeks yeah. later. So that's very suspicious. Though, how did they not did they not detect that he had drugs in his system? Because she must have given him something in order to cause the heart attack. I guess we'll find out soon the ins and outs of that. But I just found it so funny when Georgia gave that name away when she was standing mm. next to him. Like, she knows. She it's was, obvious. Yeah, she was letting him know that she's not a fool. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching our reaction to episode 7 of Ginny and Georgia. If you want to watch the episode in its entirety, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Don't feel any pressure. It's just for people that want to watch the episodes along with us. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for episode 8. Bye! Bye.